see what Lauren thinks. Girl, I need your advice. Hey, girl, what's up? You know Aaron invited me to his housewarming party? Mm-hmm. But I don't know if I want to go. Okay, well, who is Aaron, girl? Aaron, my ex-boyfriend. That nigga? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to go. If I'm going to go, I need to... I need to be cute. Like, Girl, that's what you're worried about. But it's like, do I Being really cute. want to go to my ex housewarming? Well, the answer is I no, but let's see what you come girl. up with. I'm over here on my iPad. Girl, I'm over here on my iPad making a list of pros and cons. I don't know if I want to go. I don't know if I want to be there. Um, sis, don't he got a new girl? Yeah, I think he's talking to this new girl, but I'm not sure. And you want to go? Uh, I don't know, girl. Like, do I really want to be involved in this? What? Like, uh-uh. See, because this got mess written all over But see, it. we cool. We cool. But I don't know that I necessarily Girl, it, it don't matter if you cool. What are you talking about? Don't go. I literally Googled. Ah, uh, here we go with the Googles. If you should go to your ex party. Mm, okay, and what were the results? Girl, some people said, why not if you're friends? And then some people was like, absolutely not. So Yeah, go with I, the latter. I have no idea what to do. Girl, yes, you do. Don't go. I just can't seem to make the decision. It's like, should I go? Like, he want me to go, so I want to go. Like, we cool. It ain't no hard feelings. I don't want him to think that I feel no type of way. But it's like... I just feel like you're I making this really decision off the wrong reasons. Like, that chapter of my life is closed. Like okay, so keep it, it close, was, sis. It did what it did, but I'm ready to move on. Like I don't want to really be doing that. But I don't want him to think that I got a problem with him. And then do what you cool need to do, regardless of what he thinks. Friends, like if he ever was going through something, I would want him to feel like he can call me. And but then, he shouldn't be able to call you I don't though. Want nobody associated with him or any of our mutuals to think that i'm bitter because i don't want don't nobody care what they think housewoman. so it's like what should i do like i don't know what i should do girl do what you want to do and stop caring what these people think what's wrong with you this is your dang on life get it together bye girl you ain't no help i think i'm gonna go because ain't nobody about to be talking about me ain't nobody about to be calling me bitter and talking about me oh i heard you invited shalise why she ain't come nobody about to be playing me like that Tuh. let me get on fashion over and and, and and get a cute outfit let me go get me a party city wig and let's go okay so i hope y'all enjoyed that skit okay so welcome back to my mini series uh 10 signs you don't know yourself that was sign number nine you struggle with making decisions and again i'm shalice and i am a purpose life coach for shy introverts and let's get back into the analysis so the main purpose of that skit was to portray somebody who has a hard time making decisions for themselves and they need to involve everybody else because they don't trust their own judgment and they know what they want to do already but they but by caring what other people think and outside perception they consider other people's opinions when making a decision and therefore they feel like they can't make a decision right when all along they know what they wanted to do for example i knew that i didn't want to go in this scenario because i was done with the relationship there was no reason to go and be around him again or to open that door up again but because i cared that people would think i was bitter and that he would feel like he didn't have access to me anymore or we weren't cool anymore that i should go anyway first of all even if you end things amicably with somebody else um, sometimes it's just best to close that door, right? It's really important to note that when you are have when you struggle with making decisions for yourself, I mean, it can get to the point where you're at the drive through and you can't decide which drink you want. You know what you want, but you don't trust that what you want is what's best for you. You don't trust yourself to make your everyday decisions. You have to overthink them. You have to make sure it's safe. It's important to note why you are so hesitant to trust what it is you want for yourself why at the drive through you know you want dr pepper but for some reason you order a sprite um it's 
the things like that where you question your own ability to make decisions you would rather somebody else who is not you who has not lived your experiences make a choice for you than for you to make one for yourself that's a problem and that's why when we come across these issues we have to get to the root of them and we have to figure out who we are